Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have a new and interesting things video. I have a bunch of random stuff here that I'm going to talk about. Some of it was sent to me, some of it about myself, but I will leave links and any sort of discount codes that I have in the description box in case you are interested in checking out any of this stuff for yourself. Okay, let me make some room here and then we can get started. Okay, so the first thing that I have is some sheets. <laughs> These are from a company called California Design Den and they are 100% cotton and sustainably sourced and all of that stuff. Um, and they're fantastic. So I chose the snowflake ones because I like snowflakes, <laughs> but they do have other designs as well as just, you know, plain sheets. They have ones with like super high thread counts. These ones are 400 thread count and they are quite nice. I really like them. They're very soft, kind of cool to the touch and cute. So I'm really happy with these. I love them a lot. Okay, along with more bedding, this pillow is from a company called Utu, U-T-T-U, and you can get it on Amazon. And it is, you can see, it's, you know, one of those like memory foam scoop necked ones. But the cool thing about this is that it's adjustable. If you unzip it, the memory foam pads, you can take it apart. And this one <laughs> was in the middle. I like it with two pieces. I think that that is the perfect height for me and my head and shoulders and all of that. But if you need a thinner pillow or a thicker pillow, it's adjustable, which I think is so great because let's face it, we're not all the same size and you know, you're gonna need a different size pillow. And if you're a back sleeper or a side sleeper, and if you have broad shoulders versus tiny narrow shoulders, you're going to need a different height pillow. So I love that this one is adjustable. I think it's really cool. And I've been sleeping on it for several weeks now and I really, really like it. The memory foam is very pliable so that it's not one of those where you turn your head and it feels like a rock and then you slowly sink into it. It doesn't feel like that at all. It actually feels quite squishy, which is, which is nice. I actually have several memory foam pillows and this one is my favorite. I know like my sister likes the really firm ones that you you know, or, or like a rock and then you sink. Um, I don't really like those ones. I like this one. So anyway, I will leave that information in the description box. Okay, I bought myself some new shoes. These are from Sorrel, Sorrel. I don't know how you say it, you guys. Anyway, this company has been around for a long time and they make really great weatherproof shoes, but they also make some really cute ones. So I guess it was last fall i bought myself these they're so fantastic they're they look like hiking boots but they have a wedge heel in them and i just freaking love these they're so comfortable and they are weatherproof and i went on a hike with these i know how bougie of me to go on a hike in heels but they were comfortable enough that it didn't bother me at all i was really excited it was, it, I didn't plan the hike. I just sort of happened to go on a hike and it was a mild hike. I'm just, you know, anyway. Anyway, uh, because I love those so much, I was looking for some comfortable shoes that I can wear in the summer. So I got these, aren't these cute? I love them. They have a bunch of different designs now for different sandals and stuff. I tried pretty much all of them. They have some ones that are like elastic, strappy ones, but I didn't like, the elastic was like too stretchy and my feet were like, I don't know, I just, I just didn't like walking in them. And then they had some that were similar to this, but this part is actually a little bit lower and it doesn't have a tie on it. And I like these ones. And these ones I think are actually an older style because these ones were on sale, which was awesome. And I like the gray dove color. I don't know, I just think that they're so cute. And I wore them to my sister's birthday party the other night and they were crazy comfortable. The heel is not so high that, you know, I get achy after a while and because it has such a nice squishy footbed and the materials are all very nice and soft and everything, they're just, they're crazy comfortable and I think super dupes cute. So those are my sorrels. This, I think I actually talked about the, um, the original Kentucky Yaki from Bourbon Barrel Foods in my last empties video and because I had run out of it and so I actually purchased some more but I got the spicy version this time and I just got it so I haven't even tried it yet. I'm dying to try this because I love the original Kentucky Yaki sauce. I mostly put it on like vegetables. You know, you can put it on meat or whatever. It's just a really delicious sauce um, but I like it on, on vegetables or even just like rice. It's so good. So anyway, Bourbon Barrel Foods has amazing stuff. And I just got mine on Amazon and I think it was like $10 or something. So 
Okay, some more food products. These are Kind bars, and Kind is not a new thing. I mean, they've been around forever. I got mine from E Vitamins, and I got a whole freaking box of these. These ones are the dark chocolate cherry cashew. I've been really into cherry things lately. But I got these because they're dairy-free, and I've been going non-dairy for the last almost two months now, I guess, just because anti-inflammatory reasons, mostly. And you know, and they have all sorts of good things in them. They're non-GMO, low sodium, low glycemic index, gluten-free, dairy-free. I don't know, I love Kind Bars, so I bought a whole freaking box of them from E Vitamins. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff from Ticino. I've been using Ticino for a long time. I started getting it originally from E Vitamins, and I think these ones I actually bought from E Vitamins. Um, and then the company contacted me, and I was like, I love your stuff, yeah, send over some samples. Okay, so I have the vanilla nut, and then this one is the maca chocolate, which is so good. I really like these for an afternoon cup because they're caffeine free, but they are a little bit sweet and because I don't put sugar in my coffee, sometimes that little sweetness is nice for like an afternoon cup. I don't usually drink this first thing in the morning, but they do have other versions that are not flavored and sweet like that. So they sent me this awesome sampler box, which has been great because there is no way I would have ever bought a full size thing of the chocolate raspberry. You guys, it's so good. I did not think raspberry would make a good coffee flavor, but it does, it tastes so good. Again, with that sort of dessert flavored coffee, and it's not coffee, it's actually chicory herbal coffee. Um, and like I said, it's all caffeine free and it's acid free. I know that I, I love coffee and I drink it pretty much all day long, and certain coffees can be really acidic, which just is not good for your stomach. So um, I love that these are low acid and there's no caffeine, so I don't feel bad about drinking it all day and then wondering why I can't sleep at night. So anyway, um, the raspberry one is freaking delicious. Southern pecan, which is amazing. Uh, they do have gluten-free ones, which are the dandelion line, because they've got just like the regular chicory, and then they have the dandelion. Dandelion root is supposed to be good for your digestion. And I do drink my dandy blend tea at night, another E vitamins thing. So if you are gluten-free, you know, it's nice that they have that. They did say that like for their regular ones, there's no gluten detected, but it's not technically gluten-free or, I don't remember exactly what that was. So let's see, dandelion mocha, red chai. They have a bunch of different flavors. And yeah, like this one is just a dandelion dark roast. So it's not gonna have that sweet, it's a little bit sweet, but it's not that flavored kind of a sweet. You know, where it smells sweeter than it actually tastes, that's what all the flavored ones are like for me. And then they sent me this little box too, which I guess this one is like their PR package, and it has this dandelion turmeric tea in it. This was so good, I loved this. Dandelion, again, is supposed to be good for your digestion, and turmeric is anti-inflammatory, as well as just being generally good for you. So this is like a super anti-inflammatory, great for your gut kind of a thing, and it tastes really good. So I was really happy about that because I'm all about the anti-inflammatory stuff right now, because mostly because of my knees. I feel like I've complained about my knees so many times, but I have knee issues, and the doctors were like, yep, you got knee issues, there's nothing we can do about it, they're just inflamed. And I also have ulcerative colitis, so I'm like, I gotta look into changing my diet and see what's going on with that. But I didn't really wanna do like the whole 30 just because I didn't wanna do the whole 30. <laughs> Okay, I have some workout clothes to share with you. Okay, so I think I've mentioned to you guys before that I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Normally you would have a gi, which is, you know, your basic jacket and pants, but then on no gi days, I like to wear spandex. And so I wear like a rash guard, and then as far as the leggings go, you can't have anything with like holes or pockets or anything decorative like that because that could be bad. Um, and then, you know, I wanted something that was more of like a slippery material, more like bathing suit material, and traditional spats, which are jujitsu leggings, are compression and slippery like that, but they make really awful ones for girls. I can't find any good spats by a jujitsu clothing company. I have some from Tatami, and they just, they just don't fit right, you know? I, it's just, you know, me, my body, they don't fit me right. Um, so anyway, I got these from Spanx. 
<laughs> love me some Spanx. And these are the right kind of material. They're kind of slippery, they're thin, but they are compressive. Is that, a, is that how you say that, compressive? You know, they're compression fit. Um, and they're super high-waisted, which is nice. They go like all the way up to my actual indented waist, so I don't have to worry about them falling down or showing some butt crack while I'm, you know, rolling on the floor with somebody because all of the other ones slide down. I don't know if I just have a massive booty or what, but they do, they slide down, and the high-waisted ones do not. So these do not have any pockets or anything, although they do have this decorative panel, so they're not totally boring. They're really cute, and the best thing about them is they do not have a seam in the front, so you don't get camel toe. It's a very nice flat panel, very flattering, and I got a bra to go with it. So cute. So they say that you can wear this like in the water. It says, you know, exercise to swimming. And I would totally wear this as a bathing suit top because it fits really nicely. It's not super squishy, but it does kind of hold you in. So better for things like yoga more than running. It's fine for jujitsu. Um, and the back has this crisscross thing going and it's kind of high on the side so you don't get that back fat, you know, right here. You know what I'm talking about? Spanx, man, freaking love them. And it matches my pants, so they're super duper cute. Comfortable, a little on the pricey side, but if you ask me, freaking worth it. Some more stuff that I got. These, man, Instagram's ads get me every time. Every time I'm like, ooh, what is that? Ooh, I do want that in my life. So that's how I got these. And the next thing too, actually. So these are from a company called IABMFG. I don't even know what that stands for, but their whole thing was like squat proof shorts and they have this little rubber thing on the, on the bottom hem to keep your shorts from riding up. These are like serious booty shorts and they do have the front seam, so you know. Um, I went for a run with them yesterday and honestly for the first couple of minutes they were riding up but once I started sweating the, the rubber finally started sticking to my sweaty thighs and then it didn't ride up anymore so you know give it a few minutes start working hard and then they will stop riding up um, but uh, you know they are cute and they have a ton of different designs like I don't know that I would buy myself another pair but I will definitely wear these ones and get some good use out of them. Okay, so another one, another freaking Instagram ad. These are from a company called Workshop, W-E-R-K. Um, look how cute these jellyfish leggings are. Oh my God, I love them. They have the cutest, most fantastic designs. And they're all like hand done artwork by this woman who makes these and they're just, beautiful they're so gorgeous but they're like a hundred dollars each so i finally i went back and forth i debated i was like okay come on you just just do it just go for it get yourself some pants so i bought these and they're beautiful i love them but i feel like the description because it's an online company it's always hard to tell, you know, how things are going to fit, what the material actually feels like, etc. And they said that like you can, you know, wear these in the water, so they're like a bathing suit material, which like I said for jujitsu, that's what I was looking for, and they're supposed to be a compression fit. They have these are the triathlon leggings. They also have their athleisure leggings, which are not quite as compressive and more for like, I don't know, easy sports, lounging, that sort of a thing, whereas these ones are more for like working hard. So they are fairly thin and it says like, you know, some colors are see-through. So not totally squat proof, although with this design, you can't really tell and it's not like you can like see everything, but you know, if I were to wear some polka dot chonies under these, you'd be able to see the polka dots kind of a thing. Um, but the designs are gorgeous. The feel of them, like I said, lightweight. The compression isn't as tight as I thought it was going to be. Based on their description, they're like, they are never gonna be as tight as they are the first time you try them on. They will stretch out and sort of mold to your body as you continue to wear them. And you know, if you want a more relaxed fit to size up, I did not size up. Based on my measurements, I am a size medium, but I feel like I almost wish that they were a little bit tighter or maybe just a little more I don't know, I think I'm used to like a thicker, tighter compression fit. They're not like loose on me, but it's more of a relaxed legging type of a fit. Now, I will certainly wear these for jujitsu, and I think that they will be perfect. They are long enough on my long legs, which is nice. 
and you know I I definitely love the look of them the waist is not super high it's definitely below my belly button but the back like on my waist the front will be up higher than the back it kind of sinks down and that's one of my issues for jujitsu specifically because during warm-ups and rolling my pants fall down all the time you know you're scooting along the floor you're rolling literally rolling and you know you've got your knees up and my pants fall down <laughs> So that was one of my concerns. I have not worn these yet during a jujitsu class, so I will have to get back to you about that. I worked out in them this morning and they were lovely and comfortable and super cute. That's, that's their major aspect is that they're super cute. Okay, speaking of jujitsu and my bad knees, I got this actually from FabFitFun during their like spring edit sale. I don't know what the heck that was. Anyway, I got this, this is, all G Essentials Warm Up Accelerator Cream, and it's made with hemp oil, so it's supposed to be good for yoga, running, CrossFit, Pilates, boot camps, and you basically just rub it on your sore muscles, and it kind of works like Icy Hot, <laughs> where it just sort of activates your muscles and gets them warmed up and ready so that when you exercise, um, you are less likely to injure yourself. It doesn't really seem to help all that much. Like, honestly, it's just kind of Icy Hot, but, and it, and it does smell funky. It smells more herbal than Icy Hot does. Yeah, it smells herbal, but definitely menthol and herbal. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna keep using it and we'll see. Oh, I have more coffee. Okay, so this is from a company called Waka, Waka, Wa Waka? <laughs> W-A-K-A coffee, and it's instant coffee. These ones are the single serve packets, like so, and then you can also buy it in a full bag so that you can you know, scoop out however much you want for your size cup because the packets are good for like an eight ounce cup of coffee. But if you're like me and you have a giant mug, this might be better. Also, these are great for travel, but at home you might want this one. So instant coffee I feel like is making a comeback because this is the second company <laughs> that I've gotten instant coffee from. Uh, the other one were those Santo Santos cubes of instant coffee, which I really like. Um, this one, also tastes pretty good. You know, I mean, for being instant coffee, it's not bad at all. And also this one, when you buy their coffee, they donate to a company called, I think it's just called Water, but it's, you know, to, to give clean water to places that don't have it. Anyway, I really like this, and I think that it would be good for travel and stuff like, you know, backpacking. This would be perfect. <laughs> so anyway, I liked it. I thought that it was pretty good. Pretty good. Ah, okay. I have some sleep vitamins. I actually have some kid ones too, because I got these from Sephora. These are actually the Sephora collection Radiant Sleep. But this company, Oli, Oli, whatever, um, they like. I just bought another thing off of Amazon. You can get them at the grocery store. You can get them all over the place, um, and they're just like they have melatonin and L theanine or however you say that and botanicals you know it's got like chamomile and stuff like that in it to help you sleep so it's not a drug it's just an herbal thing to help you sleep and i swear they do help i started taking them because i can usually fall asleep okay usually but then i wake up a lot in the middle of the night once i started taking these i sleep so much more soundly and i wake up feeling more rested which is really great and then my husband started stealing them and using them as well and he was like can you get some more of those vitamins those are really great and then my son never wants to sleep so I found some kid ones from what's it, Zarbies or something I can't remember the name of it and I should have brought the thing out here anyway they're kid ones and they have like one milligram of melatonin in them whereas these ones have I think yeah three milligrams and then I wanted to check these ones out as well these ones are actually like twice as expensive from Sugar Bear but I thought hey maybe they're twice as great what do I know and these ones have valerian root in them as well which is supposed to be good for helping you sleep um, these are vegan I'm I don't know if these are vegan as well I honestly don't know, but these ones are like very, hi, we're vegan. Um, these ones taste better, I think, but these are cute and I've only used these twice. I'm not sure if I like them enough to pay twice as much to get these ones over the other ones, 
but I'm gonna keep comparing. You know, it's always hard because you never know. I mean, your sleep could be disrupted for other reasons, not necessarily because your vitamins suck. So who knows? Okay, speaking of vitamins, I have these from Hum, and this actually came in a cute little thing from Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant sent me this as like a little PR thing, and it came with these vitamins, which I thought was so cute. And these are Glow Sweet Glow, and they have hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and E. It's supposed to be, you know, great for skin hydration, for the ultimate glow. I love these. First of all, they taste really good. They have a tangerine flavor, and I don't know. I feel like my skin has been extra plump and glowy lately. Could be the skincare, could be the vitamins, could be a combo, who knows? So I've talked about Drunk Elephant a million times. I'm obsessed, I freaking love that company. So this is their new Littles package that has all kinds of fabulous things in it. And look at this bag, how cute is this? So you unzip it in the middle and then it has a little snap right here so that like when you are traveling, you have this cute little bag and it has, you know, all these little skincare things in there. I just, I love the bag. I think it's so genius. Okay, so let's go over all of the things that come in here. So we have the Bestie Jelly Cleanser, which is a great, just gentle gel type of a cleanser. Um, I also like their bars, but this one is great for travel, and I also keep this in my shower because I don't like to have the bar soap in my shower because it melts. And I have like the full size of almost all of these. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is a great lightweight moisturizer. The Lala Retro Whipped Cream is a nice heavy duty whipped moisturizer. This one is more lightweight and it has um, a lot of great ingredients in it. So I use this one mixed with my marula oil because for me it's not quite hydrating enough most of the time. Plus, I like to mix all of my Drunk Elephant stuff together. They encourage that though, so. Okay, another moisturizer, this is the Bee Hydra, which is a gel moisturizer, and I feel like this would be good for oily skin because it's very lightweight and it's that gel consistency, so it is hydrating, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy or anything like that, so I really like this. This one is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I've been using this for years. This stuff is amazing. It says to use it every night, but I usually only use it like twice a week and I still feel like it's effective and wonderful and has totally changed my skincare game. The marula oil, just straight up virgin marula oil, you can mix this with any of the products for extra hydration and it's really soothing and it's just super gentle and super hydrating. Good stuff, good stuff. The C from a Day Serum, this is a nice vitamin C serum and it has a little bit more of an oily consistency, but it, you know, it soaks into your skin right away and you can either mix it with a moisturizer or put it on first and then put on a moisturizer on top. So I had a full size of this and when I finished it, I switched to the Derma E because Derma E sent me their day vitamin C serum and I really like that one as well but this is a really nice one and it's again good for sensitive skin. This is the C Tango multivitamin eye cream. I have this one and I have their other eye cream that I can't remember the name of. I use this one during the day and the other one at night. They're both fantastic, really nice and creamy feeling without being greasy and I just, I love them. They're so nice. And then the last thing in here is the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. So they have their normal Umbra SPF, which is white, and this one is tinted. Now it does have quite a bit of a tint to it, but it's not makeup, so it's not going to be a foundation, but you're not going to have a white cast to it. I find that when I wear this on its own, sometimes I wish that it had less tint. <laughs> like it colors my skin without covering anything and it's not even that dark it's just sometimes i'm like i feel like my face looks darker than normal so anyway but this is really nice and it's basically the same formula it just has a bit of a tint to it anyway that is the drunk elephant littles bag that is amazing so they've been marketing this as like make a clean break and if you want to completely switch over to drunk elephant this is a great way to start your journey because it has all your basics. There, it, this isn't all of their products, but it is a lot of them, and it's a good way to get started. Or, you know, if you travel a lot, this is the perfect little travel kit, absolutely. That is what I use mine for. But if you haven't tried Junk Elephant before, maybe you've tried one or two products, but you'd like to try all of them and get rid of all of your other skincare that 
isn't working for you or maybe has toxic ingredients in it or something and you want to make the switch um, I love drunk I love drunk elephant products I would highly recommend them to anybody so anyway that's Violet. somebody actually commented on an old video of mine asking me to review some self tanners and so I got a couple of them. I didn't get all of the ones she wanted me to review, but I got a couple. This one is from Loving Tan, which I've never used before, but I've heard about a million times because YouTubers talk about it all the time. Uh, they do not know. They have never sent me anything. So I bought this one, and this one is their Gradual Tanner, and I got the dark color. This is great stuff. It's not super stinky, and it really does a good job. You can really, like, put it on thick. Like, I put a couple of marks on, like, a in the shape of a heart on my arm. And I did, you know, a pretty intense little swatch. It wasn't like on my legs, you know, you blend it out a little bit more, but it, it was, I mean, it tanned my arm. The color of it is a little bit orange. They always say it's not, but it is, it's a little bit orange, but it's not super bad. I've been using it on my legs and I feel like my legs look nicely tan without looking too pumpkin-y. And I think it's a nice gradual tanner. It can help either extend your tan or just, you know, if you want to use it on a regular basis, it'll help, you know, give you a little bit of extra color. This one is from Melissa Weinberg and this is Perfect Glow Tanning Mousse. I have light medium to dark shade. And this is, you know, you pump it out and it's that foam, moussey color. Um, it does leave a tint so you can tell where you're putting it because I've used some before that are clear and you're like, oh, I don't know where this is. So this helps you to, you know, get rid of the streaks and stuff. I do have a mitt that I use it with. Uh, again, it's really nice. It, I think that this one last, so, okay, so the swatches on my arm that I did with these were about the same color, but this one lasted longer. So I don't know comparatively, like they're, they're different things. This one is a gradual tanner and this one is a mousse. So depending on what type of a product you would rather use, um, this one is good. It says that the tan shows up in eight hours. So, you know, it's the kind of thing where you put it on at night and then go to sleep. And my sheets did get tanner on them, but it washed out, which I thought was nice. I, and I was not expecting that. I was like, ah, whatever, fine. I'll just have, you know, the tan side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but it did wash out. So anyway, both of those seem fine and great. I will continue to use them and who knows, maybe I will report back at the end of the summer and let you know what I really think is my favorite. I have two more things here, guys. Bear with me. This is a necklace and it's, um, you know, like the yoga tree of life looking thing. They also have a couple different designs. Um, you can get this on Amazon. And I think I've worn this a couple of times in videos. I've been way into yoga lately and I don't know, I feel like this means more to me now than it has in the past. Um, so I'm, I really like that necklace. And then this, my, for my AirPods, I got this on Amazon and it's just a case for your AirPods and it's, you know, like a rubbery thing. The bottom of this actually glows in the dark and it has sparkles on it. Can you see the sparkles on this? And it glows in the dark, which is so fun. And then it comes with two different colored tops. So this one came with a yellow and a pink. The pink was more of like a dusty rose kind of a pink and I really liked the yellow. So I actually got this because Colin bought one for himself and I was jealous, I wanted one too. So I bought one for myself. I really love that it has the little like carabiner clip on, on there too, which is nice. So you can hook it onto your bag or whatever and not lose your case. So I don't know, I love this. And I use my AirPods obsessively because I listen to audiobooks all the time. So while I'm cleaning the house or working out even, or you know, whatever, I walk around with my AirPods in listening to books. Right now I am listening to, well, I just finished the first Outlander book. Uh, my friend Mary Joan told me that I should read that. It's, uh, it's interesting. I don't know, have you guys read those books or watched the show or anything? It is not what I was expecting it to be, quite honestly. I was like, oh, so that's what this is. Okay, interesting. But it's, it's not a bad story and I love the audiobooks because I love the Scottish dialects. They're just, they're just fun to listen to. So I've been listening to that and then I am on the third book of the Lunar series. So the, this one is Cress. First one was Cinder. What was the second one? Scarlet. 
So I'm on the third book of those right now and there is one more, but I really like the Lunar series. They're just kind of a fun take on your fairy tale characters. You know, Cinder is obviously Cinderella, but she's like a cyborg and it's, you know, it's just kind of a fun futuristic take on it. So anyway, I've been, I've been reading, I've been listening to those and loving them. Also, I mentioned that I've been doing a lot of yoga lately. I will link the videos that I've been using. This woman, Julia Marie, she has the best videos because she's just down to earth and awesome. And some of her videos are really intense workouts. Some of them are nice and relaxing. Some of them are just great, you know, learning different yoga poses and stuff. And I swear, since I started doing these videos my body just feels better like everything <laughs> I really love them and I've never been like I feel like I've always done yoga but I've never been a yogi if that makes sense like I just kind of do stretches on myself I never go to yoga classes anything like that so I don't know I've been loving these yoga videos lately so anyway that completes my new and interesting things so much stuff, but I will leave information for every single thing in the description box. If there was something that caught your eye or anything like that, check out the description box. And of course, I'm always happy to answer any questions or anything. And if you guys have any suggestions, things you think I should try out, whatever, let me know. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.